Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck and Pioneer. Today we're looking at Gruel Possibility Storm. Gruel Possibility Storm is a hybrid combo midrange deck that seeks to win with the combo-tastic troll card Possibility Storm, which states that whenever a player casts a spell from their hand, they exile it and cards from the top of their library until they hit another card of the same type and cast that one instead, then put all the other cards on the bottom of the deck. The end goal is to win with the following series of actions. 1. Resolve Possibility Storm, then cast a sorcery, flipping over cards until you hit Enter the Infinite. 2. Enter the Infinite draws the entire deck and puts one card back, that card being Borborygmos Enraged. 3. Cast any creature, in particular a 1 of 0 mana Stone Coil Serpent. Since Borborygmos is the only card in the deck, it'll be cast instead. 4. Since the entire deck is in hand, you'll have enough lands to activate Borborygmos and bolt the opponent to 0. This series of actions requires that you run Enter the Infinite, but no other sorceries since you always need to be able to cascade into it. To that end, the deck can run cards that can be cast as a sorcery but don't technically count as one, which currently include creatures with adventure spells stapled to them, and non-sorcery cards that learn, which retrieve sorcery lessons from the sideboard. Presently, the best options are Lovestruck Beast and Gnarled Professor, which can learn for environmental sciences or containment breach. The benefit of Gruel Possibility Storm as a hybrid combo midrange deck is that, if the combo fails or isn't resilient enough, the deck has a reasonable midrange plan, and vice versa. If the midrange plan is too weak or slow, it has a combo route. Elvish Mystic, Llanor Elves, Kiora, and Treasure Tokens from Fable the Mirror Breaker help ramp into Possibility Storm faster, with the Elves also helping to ramp into the deck's midrange threats, namely Bone Crusher Giant, Lovestruck Beast, Fable, and Gnarled Professor. Certain cards have additional benefits. Kiora is also good for drawing cards from the deck's various midrange creature threats and can untap things for value such as Flipped Fable. Fable loots away cards, helping you find the combo or discarding things you don't need like superfluous copies of Storm. Some versions run Glorybringer since it's a threat, removal, and can be untapped by Kiora. In the event you happen to draw into the infinite and therefore can't cascade into it with Possibility Storm, it can be put back in the deck with Fire Prophecy or Valakut Awakening. Alternate versions of the deck cut all the instants in order to run Shared Summons, enabling a line under Possibility Storm of casting non-instant instant spells like Bonecrusher Giant's Stomp Adventure, cascading into summons, then tutoring Lovestruck Beast for a sorcery. These versions are more all-in on the combo side and can't put Enter the Infinite back in their deck if they draw it since they cut all the instants including Fire Prophecy and Valakut Awakening. One of the best aspects of Possibility Storm is that, even if you can't win on the same turn you play it, once it resolves it's incredibly difficult for the opponent to deal with since it's an enchantment and any removal will cascade into another random card. The best ways around it are channeling Beseju or Odawara. There are also other ways to get around it such as casting spells via flashback since Storm only hits spells cast from hand, or casting spells if you know the only other spells in your deck that share a type with it have the same effect. For example, Storm the Festival and Mono Green Ramp not only has flashback, it's also the only sorcery in the deck, meaning it'll always cascade into another storm. Some potential alternate ways to win with Possibility Storm are combining it with asymmetrical lock effects such as Dranith Magistrate or Lavinia, although so far these haven't proven to be successful. The sideboard is made up of certain effects to target specific archetypes and cards that help the deck pivot into alternate strategies. Rending Volley is a removal spell that hits many important creatures from Mono White Humans, Thing in the Ice, Grease Fang, etc. Scavenging Ooze eats graveyards and is a reasonable mid-range threat. Immortal Sun is good against Planeswalker decks, specifically Mono Green and Blue White Control. Rurik Thar demolishes spell decks including Control and Lotus Field. And Elder Gargaroth stabilizes against aggro decks. A good aspect of Gruel Possibility Storm is that, against decks where the combo is ineffective, you can side it out in favor of more impactful cards. For example, against aggro decks where Storm is too slow, you can replace it with Elder Gargaroth. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Gruel Possibility Storm. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.